Yes, you're beautiful. It's the Dyer's polypore, Phaeolus schwannitzii. I can spell it, but I'm not going to. This fungus grows on Douglas firs and can grow through their roots in the base for hundreds and hundreds of years. So it's not a fungus that you get and then it kills the tree and it's really bad. It's a fungus that the trees have learned to deal with and they will sit there and live and grow and respond to the fungus and the fungus will grow and live and respond to the tree. So ultimately, this is decaying the roots. It's decaying the old wood that's inside the roots, the base of the tree. But it's not necessarily bad. All fungus is not bad, all fungus is not good. It's all these different gradients of gray. So this, the cowpie fungus, the dyer's polypore, is really a, the perfect example of a fungal associate. Where instead of saying, oh, you have a fungal infection, you have a fungal pathogen, it's something bad, it adds this negative aspect to it, just saying, oh, it's associated with Douglas fir. We know how to manage this. Sometimes that means that you're gonna have some decay on the base of the tree. If it's right next to your house with a big lean on it, eh, maybe consider doing some management. But otherwise, what you see here is a fungus slowly living off the resources that the tree is providing. And the tree is slowly saying, oh, hey, I got a fungus. I'm going to respond to that by growing different wood in different places. But this is a part of the ecosystem. You can see it's growing here. It grows up like this away, like a little flower, and then it just decays away the next year. But every fall, you'll see it in its bright pink, beautiful colors. And then over the course of the summertime, it gets dry like this and slowly cracks and becomes a part of the forest again.